Hey there, YouTubers! Hi there, Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to another short little video. Today we're comparing the metric system to the English system. Now, in the United States, the only country to land a man on the moon, we use the English system. However, every other country on Earth uses the metric system. This being the case, is the metric system better? If so, why does the United States still use the English system? All of this and more will probably be answered in this video. I say that because I haven't written the rest of the script yet. Phil will, so talk to you in the future. Bye! As trade and commerce began roaring through the world, neighboring countries began to become interconnected. However, they realized the need to standardize the measurements of physical properties. So, agreements like the Treaty of the Meter in 1875 and Standard Time Zones in 1884 began this movement. The French Revolution in the 1790s is what really kickstarted the metric system. They saw the need to standardize weights and measurements dealing with length and land area. All the measurements will, were, and still are defined in the International System of Units, or SI. Another huge benefit of the new proposed system is that we would use prefixes to define units to denote smaller and larger measurements. They would also come in powers of 10. The huge benefit of that is because we use base 10, the, it's, and, and different prefixes denote different powers of 10, moving, it's simple as moving the decimal to convert prefixes. You know, the whole world already laughs at the United States and make us seem like we're the dumbest country, they're the, most, the dumbest developed country. I think they're right. Because in the 1850s, there was a strong movement between scientists and engineers to standardize measurements. Most of the countries at the time had agreed that the metric system was superior and that the only competitor was the, the British imperial system, and so the metric system was the obvious choice. But the United States wanted nothing to do with the British Empire, so they signed the Treaty of the Meter, but they also found it too difficult to switch to the meter, so they stayed with the English system of measurements. However, all of the units in the English system are in fact defined by a precise conversion factor to the metric base units. Why, hello there. I have my fun fact book. I'm in my fun fact chair. That means it's time for a fun fact. Today's fun fact, well, dual fun facts, deals with the fact that it, during the birth of our nation, Thomas Jefferson didn't like the French. So, he didn't adopt the SI system, and he certainly didn't like the British, so he didn't adopt the imperial system, so he made the English system. Now, when you Google how many countries use the English system, it says the United States, Liberia, and Myanmar. However, Liberia is only one of those that was an American colony. Myanmar was a British colony. So why does it say they use the English system? They actually don't. They use the imperial system. And the only country left on the planet that actually uses the imperial system. Now the imperial system is very close to the English system, but they're not the same. Currently, the SI system uses seven base units. However, really only three of them are necessary as the rest can be defined by those three, sort of. The three most important are meter, kilogram, and the second, which define length, mass, and time, respectively, which are really all we need. Next, we have Kelvin for measuring temperature, which is a measurement of energy that can really be defined in joules, which uses meter, kilogram, and second. There is the ampere for defining current, the candela for defining luminous intensity, and the mole for the amount of substance. Also, I should mention that there is something called Gaussian units, which use just the centimeter, gram, and second as their standards. However, this does pose a few problems in electric dynamics, which is why the ampere was established. If you have questions, you can ask Phil. Oh boy, I'm still really questioning the U.S. decisions. 
Anyways, as for the English system, length, mass, and time are m measured in units of feet, slugs, and seconds. Temperature is measured in Fahrenheit. However, because of certain calculations, you need a Kelvin equivalent, so we have the Reinke scale. Luminous intensity was measured in candle power. However, this term is dying out, and the mole is, of course, still the mole. So what did we learn today? Well, first, that makes me dizzy, and second, the U.S.'s old hatred for Great Britain has caused a Mars orbiter to crash, the English system uses the metric system to define its measurements, and that this video is super short, because Phil and I stopped caring. Anyway, hopefully, we'll care more next time. But in the meantime, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New videos every other Friday, 2 p.m. Central Time, and good night. Subs for trees, subs for trees, subs for trees, subs for trees. Oh, you're still here? I thought I told you to go home. Oh, you want more? I'm flattered. Check out the playlist. If you want exclusive content, check out my Instagram, doctor underscore sheep underscore YouTube. That's all lowercase. If you want to help the earth, subscribe. When I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to plant 10 trees. If you feel that's too small, then check out my channel tour where I lay out even bigger goals. Finally, stick around for the next 20 seconds and give me that sweet watch time. Bye.